What's up guys? I'm Donovan Damer back for video two of the channel called Eyes on God. In the words of DJ Cali, I am back for another one. <laughs> okay, but um yeah, I'm back for video two. If you didn't think it was gonna happen, it it is it is happening. But uh, but no, no, seriously. Um, thank you everybody for all the, you know, support and uh, the blessings and for watching the video. I was not expecting that people to watch it, but they did and it was awesome. And all you guys are a blessing to me just as much as I am to you. And uh, you know, I just wanna say thank God for allowing me to do this and allowing me to be a vessel for his word. Without further ado, Let's get in to video two. Boom. So today, <laughs> so today we're gonna be coming from, uh, hey, let me make sure this camera's right. That's straight, that's straight, okay. So today we're gonna be coming from um, Mark four verses 35 through 41. So um, I'm just gonna summarize it, but I encourage you guys to go back and, I'm looking at the wrong place, to go back and um, read it yourself or either uh, pause this video and read it. And um, because like I said, I'm just summarizing it and I want you to go read it for yourself because I want you to make sure that I'm talking about the right stuff. You know, just don't take my word for it. Go and read it yourself because that's when you truly learn. Like that's when you truly start to see the joys of God is when you get in his word for yourself, you know? I'm just here to kind of, you know, I don't know. I mean, Jesus guides you. I'm just here to, just a messenger. I'm just a messenger. There we go. I got it. All right. So today we're going to come from, again, Mark 4, chapter 4, verses 35 through 41. Okay. So in this passage, um, Jesus and his disciples are on a boat. Um, they just left land and, and you know, they want to go to the other side of the lake because um, Jesus said to them, let us go across the other side. Uh, but then a great windstorm arose. Word for word, it arose. And then um, the waves started to break the boat. Because I'm guessing it was just a small boat. Um, so in the word said it was a great, keyword great windstorm. So it was a big windstorm. While all this is happening, the disciples are freaking out. You know, they're saying, uh, teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? They're so afraid. They think they're about, they're about to die. They think that they're about to perish because of this great windstorm. And while this is happening, Jesus is asleep in the stern uh, on a cushion. So Jesus, he's sleeping through the storm. He probably, I mean, the waves probably help him sleep. You know, okay. Now, when they say, teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He, you know, wakes up and then he rebukes the wind and the sea, and he says, peace be still. Now, I wanna pause for a second, and I wanna say this, like, I feel like that Jesus does not get enough credit for how easily he stops the storm. He just says, peace be still, three words, and he calms the great storm that the disciples would think is about to kill them, but he calms it with three words. Like, that's only the Messiah, only the Son of God can do that, so that's just amazing. So then the Bible says that there was a great calm. So he calmed the storm. Thing. Well, guess what guys we do that too. We do that too. Like 
We sit here and worry and fear about different things going on in our life, different storms in our life, and we have Jesus in our heart. Just like the disciples had Jesus in their boat, we have Jesus in our heart. Therefore, we should not be fearing. We should not be worrying. We should not be stressed about different things in our life, different obstacles, because Jesus is going to calm the storm. He is sitting there when we worry, when we fear, he's sitting there thinking, you know, where is your faith? Do you not believe that I'm going to calm this storm for you? As Christians, we should not be afraid because our God is bigger than anything on this earth. You know, we should have trust in God because that's the first thing is having that faith. Having, having that faith, having faith, I'm telling you, can make this life so much easier, so much more beautiful. I'm not trying to say that you're not going to have struggles, you're not going to ha have storms, but see, our God can calm that. Our God can make those, those storms seem so small if you simply just trust Him and have faith in Him to get you through that. The only way to have more faith is to just love Jesus Christ more, is to improve your relationship with Him or, or, or allow your relationship with Jesus to grow. It's the only way to have faith in God that He's going to bring you out of it. And first off, first off, think about all the things He's brought you through. Think about all the storms He's gotten you through. Like, that should be the first thing in your mind when you go through another storm. Hey, you know what? God got me out of this storm, so guess what? He's going to get me through this one. Just, just think about that. you got to have that in your mind, that God is going to bring me out of this. God, I'm, I have faith in you, and I trust you. So please, you guys, allow God to calm your storm. Trust in Him. Believe in Him. So that's it for video two. I just want to thank you guys for watching once again. I love all of you. And, um... You know, stay blessed and don't forget, keep your eyes on God.